Okay, we're going to have a look at setting up and creating a logo for a title sequence in a Premiere Pro movie production. Now we got Photoshop, you can also do it in Illustrator, um, it has the same sort of guides, but probably Photoshop might be your best option to do something pretty simple. First up, we'll go to the uh, file menu and we'll go new. Now what you will need to do in the presets is select film and video. And once you've got that, it gives you a number of presets for film and video, lots of the ones American formats as well as um, PAL UK formats. Now the ones you're probably going to use will be the HD TV 720p and the HD TV 1080p. Um, don't worry too much about the frame rates, it has um, some frame rates on there. We're just going to go either one of those, ideally you're probably going to have 1080p. I'm going to go for 720 because that's what I need. And you'll see the resolution is set at 772 and then you'll have 1280 um, by 720 for the pixel dimensions. I'll click OK. Now when you open it up, you'll see there's some guides set out on your document. Now the outer guides, the outer box here, is for uh, safe areas as well as the inside guide. Now when people are viewing it on smaller monitors or squarer monitors, they'll be cut off points. Now you have a picture safe area, which is on the outside, and then you'll have on the inside here, a title safe area. So if you are creating any titles or graphics and you don't want the edges to be cut off, it's a good idea to make sure you stay within the inner box or the title safe area. Now I started off here and I'm just gonna create a black background because I'm gonna have my logo on a black background and I'm gonna have some um, a white logo on here. So, you know, we'll just go for a black background. So that's pretty simple, select, select all, and then I go to edit and fill. I fill it with black and I've got a black background. And I'll just deselect my area now once I've got that, uh, I'm gonna set up some center points on here. So easy way of doing that is you go to the uh, crop mark tool. You It gives you these points all around it and I just drag out guides from the top on the side to get some center points. If you don't have your rulers out, you need to go to view and show rulers and click on that. So now I set that up, I get my move tool and I'm just gonna put on a shape. So I go down to my custom shapes and then I just go up and in this case, I'm going to just select a bike. I then drag out my shape. I'll put it there, move it over. I'll just make it a little bit bigger. Now as a default here, it's come up with a stroke on it, a border. So I need to click on my shapes again and up here, I'll just turn off the uh, stroke or the border to make it a clean outline. Make it as big as you want. Bear in mind maybe to keep it in the center here of the um, safe area and put it in you know any position you would want. Once I've got that, I'm gonna put some text on the bottom. So I get my text tool. Again, it's gonna be white up at the top. Select an appropriate font and I'll just call this Bike Productions. Once I've got that, I click on that and I move it into a better position, maybe using the guides to align up the two different elements and you can group them together and move them and get them in the best position you want. You might have, want to have them a little bit more higher or you want to maybe have the whole thing so it, it, it is centered within there. All right. So once you've got it all fine, I'm just gonna crop it tight. I don't need all the edge space around it because that'll just be transparent so I'll maybe just want just the actual object itself now once I've got that I will just need to get the crop tool once I've got the crop tool I need to bring it in and I'm going to crop it quite tight but be careful you don't crop it too tight just try and get it literally the edge of whatever you're cropping but don't chop anything actually off and once I've done that I crop it now once it's been cropped, I'm gonna turn off my background layer and it's gonna be on transparent, file, save for web. I'm gonna go for a PNG 24 from here. 
and then click save. And once I've got save, I'm gonna call it bike logo and I will save this with all my other film assets in my um, movie project folder and save it there so it's all grouped together. Okay, in Premiere Pro, all I can do is just drag in my logo to my project panel and you'll see it's there, it's been cut quite tight around the corner and all I'll do is I'll just drag it onto a video channel, depending on which one it will be, and you'll see it will appear on the, on the title there. And you can obviously move it along and make it longer if you wish and drag it out. So it stays on the screen a little bit longer. Okay, and it's simple as that. Now, if you want to overlay your logo on a background and see through and see the transparent areas, you will need to bring up the opacity. Now I've dragged my bike logo here to the video channel two, and I'll just expand on that. I'll just click the little clicker here. And when it comes up, you'll see there'll be some options to change the opacity and you turn the opacity on. So it says opacity, opacity. Now when I drag out my video clip, you will see it appears on the top there. So if that's something that you want to appear on the top and maintain the transparent areas, you will need to turn opacity on.